one area of design that I think is really fantastic to explore is uh, making things bigger than our print beds. I just recently did the extra large Lazy Susan mechanism that is printed in quarters and I think it a, was a super successful um, exercise in that area. And my wife asked me for um, a little tray to insert into one of the Ikea cabinets that we have and I think it's called a Calyx um, drawer system and even though my print bed's big enough to print this size I thought it'd be a fun exercise to print these into smaller halves that would allow anybody with a, a, a 200 millimeter bed to print and then snap them together and they snap together uh, locked down really hard I'll show you that in a second and I put a pull out kind of foot that flips it reverses inside and out when it's out this will sit on the rails in the calyx drawer so it slides back and forth above whatever's in the drawer and when they're flipped inside then they're stackable so they'll nest you can put multiple of these together to nest them or to just put in the bottom of the drawer a uh, lot sitting in the drawer so it goes inside the the walls of the drawer so let me show you how those go together. And um, I think there's some nice little design features that make that work. So if you wanna print one of these, you print uh, two halves, two connector handles, and two, I don't know what you call these things, feet. And that's it, that's your set. They interlock first this way. So you can see these honeycomb hexagonal uh, features start to go in together. It might be difficult to see on the camera. Oh, maybe I guess we can do it. And you just need something heavy and hard to push down on those and you'll hear them pop in into place. And once they're in, they're not coming out. They're a nice fit. And so you pop those all in. Oh, I don't think I have the right shape to get against. There we go. Yeah, so those are, this thing's already quite firmly together, but you can see the top can pull apart. So I put some barbs on the inside of these pieces, and I think it gives a nice color accent. And those barbs go into these little slots, probably difficult to see on that side, but here you can see them uh, running through the, the, the wall. So this should have enough flex to just sit over top of that, flex out, and when it gets down into position, those barbs catch in those holes. And this thing's now locked together. So this is now super, oh, I don't get caught, there you go. Now super rigid, and you've really got a finished box. And I think the exciting part for me is like now, how big could you go? Could you make bigger connections and make a bigger assembly? I have a couple ideas for that, and I'll explore those. But staying focused on this for a minute, and then this is the foot. And the foot can go in either this way, and now that's sitting outside the, the box. And that will sit on the rail or the sides of the drawer so it can slide back and forth. Or you can turn it around, and now it's inside the edge, and they'll actually nest together. So these will, that will sit and nest with the other box. Uh, in fact, I've got the other ones out, so I might as well snap these ones in. And... You can hear it snap. They're removable, so that you can take out and flip it around if you want. But those will just now nest together. So you can actually nest a bunch of these together if you wanted to. And on this one, you can see they're sticking out, so this one will go. What I'm going to do in the drawer that my wife wanted, she wanted one underneath and one on the rail. She got a bunch of little accessories she wanted to store. Here you can see um, how they might get used. In this case, I've got the sliding one up top and the one with the feet inward so it can sit down below. And so you have a removable tray there that can move around the bottom and this top one can stand back and forth and help you organize. Of course, you can put more in there, but as if you have these drawers, you know how much they suck because they don't extend out very far. So it's hard to reach into them. I've had a, quite a few people ask me to make videos more about how I design and um, I'm going to try to do that slowly, but I'm not very good at teaching, so I don't really know how to go about that. But I thought in this case I could show inside the design of this uh, drawer insert. And there's a few things that I think are interesting. The 
the honeycomb bottom, I think, is obvious to everybody why I do that. It reduces, um, it, it doesn't actually print faster because you're printing a taller um, floor than you would do if you had, say, a one millimeter solid. But I prefer the strength structure of this and uh, a one millimeter floor across a long area of this has its own issues and it would also not permit me to create this uh, joint here so um, bottom line there's a handful of reasons why I like this and I've put in a um, little offset in the center of the wall and that allows the inserted parts like in this case this one which I'll just isolate for a second you can see it's indented whereas the other side of the walls are outgoing so these mate and that's why when you look in the videos you see me mating these together they snap hard in because of that little offset there and it's only 0.2 millimeters it's very small but it's it, it's enough to uh, get the job done if you know what I mean like it's it, it pushes up quite quite aggressive or pushes in quite aggressively with that snap and then for the handle and accent color accent I already mentioned on the video, these are the little slots that the barbs on here will snap into. And I think I can hide this part here and show you. I've, I've cut the part in half, the handle here, because it's not, you can't do this normally, but you can see those barbs are just sitting in on the, the barbs that stick out of the back side of the handle, and there's more on the front stick into these slots and so there's ones on the front as well uh, and I like I say just to be clear I split that handle just so I could look in there but that's actually a one piece print and then down the end uh, this part it just slides up this is intended to give it a little bit of flex so that the detent here the negative side of the detent mates with the other side which I can expose here you can see in a section view there's a little knob here so when this goes back up it just sits there so you can pull that out it takes a little bit of force to pop it out which I want I wanted so that it's not dropping out on you and you can flip it around uh, to create this little lip here and that as I mentioned is this sits on the calyx drawer top sides uh, the walls are thicker it's interesting I tried to create this with very thin walls initially and I did a lot of printing at 0.4 millimeter layer heights and I just couldn't get any real strength in it in the end I'm printing at 0.2 millimeters I had to also thicken up these walls because at uh, 1.6 millimeters they really were weak so I went 2.4 about halfway across and then thicker in the middle 2.8 to give it more strength through the middle and kind of aesthetically it looks okay like that I think the lip on the top gives it more strength as well so the end result is it's quite a strong box so yeah I think ex excellent exercise in connecting parts building bigger things than our print beds allow and uh, also I think it's kind of cool because now more people can print this because I know a lot of people have smaller print beds and that opens the door for anybody to print this part. And I think that's also exciting to help the community. Anyways, there you have it.